So how exactly does a game that's 15 years old hold up in 2019? I mean, is it really more than just nostalgia? Some people might argue that, but for me, I think it's more than that. And I'm a new player, so there really is no nostalgia here for me. And yes, I have played a little bit of retail, but I really wasn't having fun with it, and I kind of just fizzled out, and I really couldn't figure out why I wasn't having fun. But after playing Classic up to level 25, I think I know exactly why. First off, I'll let you know I rolled a Dwarf Priest. I honestly researched a ton, and I think this was my best bet. I like the idea of healing, and I wanted to be viable in endgame. I mean, I guess all classes are viable, but I really wanted to have a spot in Raid, because I never played, and I thought it was interesting. And speaking of classes, this kind of brings me to my first point. I feel like classes matter a lot more in Classic than they do in Retail. I think there's two reasons for this. One, because every class isn't hyper-balanced, like in Retail. And two, because the game is made for five-year-olds with their parents' credit cards and the game is actually kind of difficult. For instance, you actually have to eat and drink in this game to restore mana and health. So it would be helpful to have, say, a mage to conjure food or water. And even when you're just questing, it could be helpful to have, say, a warrior to take all the aggro off of you so you're not getting your ass beat. Yes, the mechanics are in both games, but I feel like in retail, the difficulty just isn't there, so you really don't find yourself thinking of things like this that much. Alright, so when I wrote this, I really didn't want to shit on retail too much, but I really have to compare, just to drive home the point that games in general are going in the wrong direction anymore. Anyway, enough of that, on to my next point, the graphics. Yeah, they're from 2004, and yeah, they look pretty dated, to be honest. But you know what really saves it for me? The art direction. There's just something really, really charming about these graphics, and I can't put my finger on it. But the way they built the world, the cities, how they have their own feel, how each different zone feels unique from the last, combine all that, and it just makes for a really nice visual experience. So much so that you really don't even think about how the graphics are over a decade old. I mean, there honestly have been times where I'm just questing and I stop and go, damn, that looks pretty nice. At the end of the day, you're either going to love it or hate it. There's not much else to say here, really. I love it. On to questing. It's really what I'd expect from questing. You have your typical RPG quests, like fetch quests, or like go talk to this person, or find this other person, or slaughter a bunch of animals that are helpless and just defenseless and just minding their own business. And then there's escort missions, which literally everyone loves. Huh, these were all funny sarcasm jokes, and I actually really do like the questing. Yeah, it's pretty standard fare, but it's varied enough that it keeps it interesting. Also, I love the addition of class quests. They make it feel like you're actually practicing your class rather than just starting off as a god in the first place. So it definitely adds more depth to your character, and I feel like it adds more immersion as well. Speaking of immersion, there is no quest helper in this game unlike retail. You're not just running out to some question mark and killing or looting whatever's in the area. Yes, you can use add-ons like Questy. I actually used it when I was starting, but then this happened. You have quest helper, you new. Yeah, well, Steve Steve doesn't let me read the quest things. Do you have it on now? Yeah, I got Questy on. Bro, that's like sacrilege. You can't have it. I, so think At it. I think Atlas loot is the only thing that's allowed. That's how I'm playing. Yeah, I guess I'm being a, an asshole. Did you not say so just kill yourself? So right before I killed myself, I'm like, ah, maybe I'll give it a shot. And I'm telling you, once you actually start reading the quest lines, you find out that they're actually pretty funny. All of them have some kind of humor to them, or maybe just some little quip. I mean, not all of them are humorous. I mean, some of them are actually kind of interesting. So I really recommend to just turn off Questy and just read through the quest because I guarantee you'll get some little entertainment out of it. The only downside is that some of these quest givers can be hard to find, and not because they're purposely hidden, it's just because you find a guy in like some random ass building that no one goes to, and you're like, dude, what are you doing here? Like, no one has been in here in like 18 years. But I don't want to bitch about it, just a little nitpick, and if you're the adventurous type, you're gonna find it anyway, so you'll probably enjoy it. On to the final and probably most important part of Classic is the social aspect. And this is one of the main reasons I think that Classic still holds up today as a game that's 15 years old and is still fun to play. I've met, talked to, and quested with more people than I've probably played with in any game in recent memory. And the reason that I have to quest with them is because the game is difficult. You're just not going to be flying through quests like you would if you were in a group. And I'm not saying that you should rush it, I'm just saying it's a more enjoyable and smooth experience when you're leveling with other people. In retail, when I was questing, I never partied up with anyone. 
and that's because I never died in the game because it was just so damn easy. Even the dungeon experience is totally different. In Classic, you need precise pools and healing and aggro management. You actually have to talk to people to even get a group. In Retail, you hit the Q button, you sit on your ass, you team up with four other people, you don't talk to anyone, you run through the dungeon, you beat the last boss and you wake up from your nap and you're like, oh shit, yeah, I'm playing WoW, I forgot. And you say, see you later, idiots, and then you queue up again and you do the whole damn thing over again like a chore. Now in Classic, I had my first run through Dead Mines and I wiped like four times and I had one of the biggest chokes probably in the history of the game. I'm sure my teammates loved that I was learning to Priest as I was playing, but you know what? I learned from that experience and I learned how to play from it and that's something that I just wouldn't get in retail, sadly. But either way, through questing, I made a bunch of friends, I'm having a lot of fun, I'm meeting new people, I'm learning new things. It's just an experience that you wouldn't get in any other game, really, that I could think of. At least not anymore. I mean, everything is just so casualized anymore. Everything is just streamlined to appeal to literally everyone, just to make it easy, just to sell microtransactions. I mean, hell, remember in Halo when you used to be able to team up with people after the game? I mean, remember Proximity Chat? Oh, that was amazing. Proximity Chat where you could, like, shit talk and, you know, you know, you just kill someone, like, you hear their mic cut off, like, right as you kill them. I'm getting off topic, but these are just all social experiences that don't exist anymore. And with WoW Classic coming back, I feel like it's kind of reinvigorated the gaming industry. I mean, just look at how many people are playing this. And I'm a new player. There's no nostalgia for me, but I love this game and I can't stop playing. I hope Blizzard at least learns from this and maybe takes some aspects of Classic and puts that into their next expansion. I have some other ideas of what they might do, but that's for another video. Bottom line is, I'm really enjoying this game, and I think that anyone should pick this up. Whether you've played it in the past, or you're new like me and have never played it before, give this a shot, and just try it out. But be careful, because it's literally more addictive than crack. Guys, if you made it this far, God bless you. If you like this video, I like you. I'll see you in the next one. I'm really trying to pump out as much as I can, but I've honestly just been playing this game so much that I just didn't have any time to make a video. So, if anyone's out there like, oh man... <laughs> Man, I, I need I need a Matt made a video, dude. He's so good, dude. He's got like 30 subs and like he's dude. He's definitely gonna blow up. Like for all zero of you that said that, I apologize, and I will be making more videos more frequently. I don't know what I want to do with my channel. Maybe uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see. All right, peace out. I love him.